Greetings, it is I, the Great One himself, Seneca Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-S-E.com on the internet, here with an anarchy moment. I got a lot going on. I'm working on some notes and an outline for an upcoming episode of Stating the Obvious, which, quite honestly, is going to be fucking amazing. It has the potential to be one of the greatest editions of Stating the Obvious ever, because I'm going to do what I do best. I'm going to hurt some fucking feelings, and I'm going to say some things people don't want to hear, but I don't give a fuck. I just don't give a fuck. Because I, every day, every day that goes by, I grow more and more fed up with idiots. Idiots. Everywhere I look, I see idiots. And everywhere I look, I don't see college kids right now, because here in the People's Republic of Fort Collins, Colorado State University is out of session. It is officially summer. The college kids are gone. Oh, it's quiet it's glorious there's just enough of them left around that there's some cute college girls to look at and there's people to work at the restaurants but the bulk of the college kids are gone but that's not what we're talking about today today i want to talk about stupid people i want to talk about stupid people on the internet this is something i've noticed so back in the day okay back when i was your age and we walked uphill and all that other stuff When you said to somebody something like, I need to buy a new car. Do you have any recommendations on, on good automobiles or good dealerships? People would draw from their personal experience and say, well, I bought a car from this place. It was pretty good. I bought a car from that place. It kind of sucked. And you could have a conversation with a person about recommendations. Nowadays, with everything on the internet, this is another one of my little rants about how the internet is making everybody stupider. I've noticed more and more things like this. So at one point I went on Facebook and there's this ANCAP group that I'm a member of that I just don't go into anymore because it's just worthless and fucking annoying. Oh, it reminds me of something I gotta do. Shit. Alright. And, anyway, <laughs> it's nothing to do with this. Well, it does. It's an ANCAP group that I need to go check out on the internet. Hopefully, it's not full of dickheads who are going to do the sort of things I'm about to talk about right now. I went into this ANCAP group, and I posted a question there, and I said, Hey, can anybody recommend a place for purchasing Bitcoins? And the first response, of course, came from some fucking chair jockey moron who responded with what the hell is it <laughs> LMGTFY for those of you who don't know what that means who you know aren't losers that means let me google that for you and i realized that i didn't specify that when i posted in this group i was saying can anybody here give me a recommendation on some place to buy bitcoins from personal experience. I mean, I know that I can type, where do I buy Bitcoins into Google? That's not what the fuck I'm asking for. I was asking for anybody who had actual real life experience to relate their experience. And this is the stupidity of our internet society where everything is reduced to looking for information on Google. And then when you do something and you find something on Google and you go there and you get fucked over, it's like, man, I did this and I got fucked over. Well, how'd you find out about this place? Well, I Googled for it. Well, did you actually fucking ask anybody for personal experience? I did another one. There's a 
website where I get technical support for WordPress sometimes. And I asked the question, I said, you know, one of my clients wants a plugin that does such and such. Can anybody recommend a plugin that performs this function? And this stupid bitch who is one of the moderators at the forum and the other people in the forum who moderate it are really fucking good. This bimbo is just dumber than shit on a fairly regular basis. I mean, sometimes she's posted useful shit, but for the most part, I, mean, I shouldn't say that. All right, like 30% of her posts are just noise. And so her, here's her request. Here's her request. Here's her reply to my request for recommendations about a plugin that will do this function. She writes back, there are a lot of them, but you have to try each one to see if it meets the need. Well, yes. No shit, you dumb bitch. I'm sure there are a lot of them. I'm asking, does anybody have any fucking experience with a particular one? And was the experience good or bad? Was the plugin adequate or inadequate? Did the plugin fuck up your system or did it work really well? Why? When, and more to the point, why did people, like, why did this stupid bitch feel the need to state the obvious? Because that's what I do on my podcast, stating the obvious. Yes, there are a bunch of them. That's why I'm asking if anybody has one they fucking recommend. The internet is making people fucking stupider. Back in the day, if you asked somebody, hey, I'm looking for X, Y, and Z, do you have any recommendations? You could get some fucking recommendations from people based on their personal experiences. Nowadays, people say, well, just look on Google. I'm not fuck, I don't want to fucking look on Google. I'm trying to find some intelligent people, which obviously is a group that does not include you, and I want some fucking informed opinions from people that I know and trust or at least might know and trust, or at least have a similar perspective to me, right? When you go in a fucking ANCAP fucking group on Facebook and you say, hey, does anybody have any advice on where to buy Bitcoins? Of all the fuckers in there, you would think somebody might have bought a goddamn Bitcoin online and would be able to say, yeah, I fucking bought a Bitcoin at this place and it sucked. I bought a Bitcoin at this fucking website and it was good. And I've heard about this website, but I haven't used it, but a friend of mine used it and he said it was great. How fucking hard is that? How, you know, and you fucking cocksuckers out there on the internet all day doing this fucking cybering jockeying, jockeying, you want your fucking opinions out there. You want attention. You want to be on the fucking internet and the message board and the Facebook and you want people to think you're awesome and cool. But when somebody says, puts out a request for information that you can actually fucking answer, provide useful information and maybe be fucking cool or something, what do you do? You fucking give some kind of fucking either worthless smart ass responses or you give responses that contain no goddamn information just because you feel like the need to type on the fucking keyboard because you're a fucking loser.